So far, we've set up this workbook, we've named it, saved it as macro enabled, named the sheet and set up the database. The developer tab is showing and we're going to use that now to go into the Visual Basic Editor and create a user form. So on the developer tab, at the far left, click Visual Basic. That opens up this Visual Basic Editor. You can see a project list. And if you can't see that, go to the View menu and click on Project Explorer, and that will show it. There's also a Properties window command on here, and we want to be sure that that's showing. So usually they're stacked up at the left side, Projects and then Properties. You can see all the open workbooks, and you can adjust how much space each of those is given. So here we can see the Parts DB text file, and that's where we're going to insert a user form. The Parts DB text file in this list should be selected, but if not, you can click on its name and that will activate it. There are minus signs to the left. And you can hide or show the list of objects. We're going to be inserting a user form here, so we'll go to the menu, click Insert, User Form. That puts a small user form in this window, and there's a toolbox that we'll be using to add things to the user form. I'm going to move it for now. And in this list now, we previously saw Microsoft Excel objects and then the sheets. Now there's also a forms folder and user form one, which is what we just created. So this user form shows its name at the top and we can see in the properties window, here's a name user form one and that's just the default name that's given when we create a user form. So we're going to rename it and to do that, I'll double click here where it says name in brackets and then type a new name for this user form. We're going to be storing part and location data in here. So I'm going to call this FRM for form, capital P-A-R-T, capital L-O-C. So FRM part loc. So that changes the name. If I press enter, we'll complete that. Nothing changes at the top of the form though. That's a caption rather than the name. So if I look down this list of properties, here's a caption property. So I'll double click on that. And the caption is also user form one. And in here, I'm going to type what I want at the top of the form. So I'm going to type parts inventory and press enter. So we've created a user form, changed its name. We can see the name here now, and we've changed the caption at the top. And before I do any more work on the user form, I'm going to the toolbar here in the Visual Basic Editor, and I'll click the Save button to save my work.